South Korea's largest music label, Hype, which has such mega groups as BTS under its wings, is embroiled in a managerial dispute with Min Hye Jin, the CEO of one of its subsidiaries, Adore. Min, who's been instrumental in creating the popular girl group New Jeans, is also well known even among BTS fans for her role as managing producer for BTS V's solo album, Play Over. The row, which has fueled concerns, caused Hype's shares to lose some $508 million in value in just one day, especially since the two sides have completely different views regarding the standoff. New Jeans, which debuted in 2022, has become a top girl group by churning out numerous his songs. The single greatest contributor of New Jeans' growth has been Min, what the CEO affectionately referred to as the mother of New Jeans. But on Monday, Hype suspended the CEO of her duties and sent an official letter demanding her resignation. The label accused Min of trying to take New Jeans and illegally seeking to leave Hive. It kicked off an audit against Adore, claiming that Min conspired to wrestle managerial control. Hive has an 80% stake in Adore, with Min and other managers controlling the remaining 20%. Hive claimed that Adore unlawfully diverged a confidential contract to attract investors and persuade people close to Min to sell off their holdings in the parent company. In an internal Adore document secured by Hive, the subsidiary said actions will be taken to prevent Hive from interfering and to ultimately seek independence. These phrases can be seen as a move by Adore to leave Hive. On the other hand, Adore has countered that Hive created a new girl group that has copied from New Jeans, and when this issue was raised, the parent company retaliated. In a statement, Main pointed out that Pang Ji Hyuk produced the lead's debut album, and Hive was involved in the new group copying New Jeans. Elite has received criticism for overly following new jeans in such areas as hair, makeup, dance moves, and even in its music videos. Adore's CEO said that she requested an explanation from Hive regarding the infringement of new jeans' rights, but unexpectedly got a dismissal notice. Min said allegations made to the media about trying to take managerial control are absurd and that she will not tolerate such actions. Related to the standoff, the parents of New Jeans members have openly backed Min on this matter, which is raising concerns that this may take a similar turn to 50-50 unless the situation is resolved. <laughs> Adore CEO Min Hee Jin, who claimed that Hive Chair Pang Shi Hyuk is actually where he is right now because he copied her, has stirred fresh controversy amid the ongoing dispute surrounding K pop girl group New Jeans. In the audit initiated by Hive over its subsidiary Adore, three documents were secured. In an internal document, there is a passage that says how GNP can take over. Hive stated that G stands for Government of Singapore Investment Corporation, with P representing Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund. This can be interpreted as a plan to sell Hive stakes to overseas buyers. Min is said to have claimed in an in-house meeting that Elite, Tours, and Rise all copied new genes. Hive sees this as further evidence the CEO of its subsidiary was exerting pressure to sell the company's shares. In another document, Adore mentions the need to leave ultimately and not to allow anyone to touch us. Such wording can again be construed as the label's attempt to move beyond Hive's influence and wrestle managerial control. This document has caused the greatest debate, particularly among BTS fans. Adore CEO allegedly said while taking to an outsider that Pang is where he is right now because he copied her. 
Industry insiders said that after joining Hive, Min often said in private gatherings that mega group BTS copied her. This comment triggered a hailstorm among BTS fans who voiced their criticism against Min. Even before New Jin's debut, it generated a lot of attention because they were referred to as the sister group of BTS, who were already world-renowned at the time. The person who wrote the documents told Yana News Agency that the contents were compiled based on personal thoughts and experiences, and there was no consultation with the door CEO. Hyde meanwhile said that it will move quickly to convene an extraordinary meeting of shareholders with the aim of replacing Adore's management. The company said that if the need arises, it will take legal action. Related to the high-profile role, some watchers said that even if Min is fired from her job due to her reputation as well as what she has achieved so far in the entertainment sector, she may be able to win new investments from abroad and start anew. Hive announced that it will take legal action against the door CEO, claiming she committed a breach of trust, despite Bini Jin refuting all allegations raised against her and arguing she is being unjustly vilified. According to Hive, Min, who is well known for having helped create the girl group New Jeans, plotted to unlawfully wrestle managerial control and stressed that it had secured evidence of her in the audit it conducted on its subsidiary. Hive stated those audited discussed the termination of the exclusive contract with Eugene's and the nullification of the contract between Adore CEO and Hive. In addition, there were instructions such as let's draw global funds and make a deal with Hive, be critical towards everything Hive does, and think about ways to harass Hive. There were even conversations including plans such as we will walk out after making Adore an empty shell. Hybe also claimed Min was coached by a female shaman on major company management matters. The entertainment agency also claimed Min discussed BTS members' military service with the shaman, with the CEO asking will BTS enlist, to which the shaman replied they will. Then Min said, I think it will be better for me if BTS enlist, make them fulfill their duties, hinting it will be beneficial for her if BTS was not around. The latest action by Hive and the growing controversy surrounding Min have fueled concerns among fans about New Jeans' future. Some New Jeans fans staged a protest outside the Hive's headquarters on Wednesday, deploying a protest truck to voice their grievances against the chief of its sub label. An electronic billboard mounted on the truck, set up by Bunnies, the group's fandom, blared Min Hee Jin should no longer use New Jeans and their family. Other messages repeatedly flashed, Min Hee Jin immediately stopped disparaging other artists, as well as Bunny support New Jeans under Hive. Meanwhile, New Jeans is scheduled to drop a new single titled How Sweet on May 24. Hive claimed they will do their best to support New Jeans' comeback and growth going forward. They will also meet with the girls' legal representatives as soon as possible to discuss ways to better protect their interests. Bin Hee Jin meanwhile held a press conference in Seoul and denied all allegations, stating that Hype is the one that brought about this row. The CEO added that she had received unfair demands from Hype and that she was actually the victim. She even stressed she hadn't tried to meet investors to take managerial control of a door and that no breach of trust took place. The CEO of Hype sub-label Bin Hee Jin held a press conference for more than two hours and talked about how she was being falsely accused. She also accused a parent company of having tried to push New Jeans aside ever since a girl group's debut. Bin Hee Jin had joined Big Hit Music as chief brand officer. At the time, Hype's chairman Pang Xiox sent messages of encouragement such as forget SM Entertainment and build a Bin Hee Jin universe and can you beat Espa? They were planning to make a girl group together, but they didn't see eye to eye as Pang Xiao wanted to benchmark Billie Eilish. Bin Hee Jin initially prepared a girl group with songs such as Hype Boy and Attention, but claimed that Pang wasn't too pleased. Their conflict worsened as plans for Lysir Film's debut had come out ahead of New Jeans, who were originally planning to debut as Hype's first girl group in 2019. 
그 사쿠라 김채원을 필두로 한 새로운 그룹을 첫 번째로 내, 내게 됐어요. 라고 저한테 통보를 하는 거예요. 그래서 내가 그 당시에도 제가 솔직히 말하면 좀 쌍욕을 했었어요. 지원님한테. 너네 양아치냐? 왜 약속 깨냐? 나랑은 내 이름 팔아서, 밖에 팔아서 민심 걸그룹이라고 붙였지. 뉴진스 애들이요. 전부. 하이브 첫 번째 걸그룹 이거 보고 미니징 이거 보고 들어왔단 말이에요. 그러면 은 연습생 부모들한테 뭐라고 얘기하실 거예요 도대체? 그랬더니 아 그건 희진님이 상관하실 바가 아니래. She emphasized that she was pressured to make l a s e r f i m and Eugene's appear as Min Hee-jin's girl group without clearly telling them apart while they were promoting Eugene's. 박지원님이 부탁을 한 거예요. 뉴진스 홍보하지 말아달라고 르세라핌 나오기 전까지. 왜 홍보하면 안 돼요 저는? 그랬더니 무슨 어 미니진 걸그룹인 것처럼 착각을 시켜야 된대 어 누가 누군지 모르겠 어 그게 말이 되냐 왜 니네 이렇게 양아치 같이 하냐 Min added, if Hybe really cared about new jeans, they wouldn't pull dirty tricks like this, even touching on Solomon's fables. Hybe 뉴진스 아끼는 거 맞아요? 뉴진스 릴리즈 내일이거든요. 근데 어떻게 월요일 날 감사를 해? 이게 이게 제 정신이에요? Then Min, who was often referred to as Eugene's mom, emphasized how close she and the group was. Eugene's and I are not the same as you think. We are not the same as you think. We are not the same as you think. How much kids are happy and love me all the time. So the kid is the only one who doesn't say anything to me. He's talking to me and he's talking to me. He wants to send a letter to me. He doesn't say anything to me. He doesn't say anything to me. He doesn't say anything to me. 자기가 그냥 목소리 듣고 싶어서 전화했다고 <웃음> 그래서 제가 이게 <웃음> 자식 키우는 게 약간 <웃음> 이런 건가 제가 <웃음> 그런 생각도 들었고 애들이 막다막 엉거 해인 20분 내내 나보다 더 울어 <웃음> 그럼 자와 <자와저한테> 저한테 막막 <웃음> 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 자기가 고마운 게 너무 많대. 근데 자기 힘들 때 내가 도와줬는데 자기는 못 도와줘서 자기 막 미치겠다는 거야. Min was frank when she said, "I'm not on good terms with Hybe, but when I think of new jeans, I have to work with them." And stated, "I have no intention of taking the company. I don't even care if someone else owns a company. I just care about new jeans." Regarding Min's press conference, Hybe replied, "We can refute all her claims with evidence, but we decided not to because it's not worth it." Meanwhile, pre-orders for New Jeans' new double single album, How Sweet, begin today. South Korea's largest entertainment company, Hive, accused sub-label CEO Min h e e j i n of breach of trust on April 26 and urged the police to start an investigation. Police have said they will begin a probe by summoning Min and others related to the matter. Hybe announced that it secured evidence in the form of testimonies and documents that Min planned to wrestle managerial control of its sub-label Adore. It added that the internal audit found papers showing Adore had contacted outside investors to pull off such a move. The findings showed Min allegedly telling the sub-label's management to find a way to get Hive to sell off its stake in Adore. In addition, Hive claimed it possessed a messenger text revealing discussions on how to terminate New Jeans' existing exclusive contract by making a door a hollow shell. In response, Min has refuted all claims she had plotted to take over a door's management. I think Hive is not just a person who is a person who is a person who is a p e r s o Legal experts said that based on what has been released so far, it may be hard to prosecute men for breach of trust. Under the existing law, simple planning or conspiracy to carry out a breach of trust does not entail legal penalties. Therefore, there must be evidence that clearly shows men actively trying to harm the interest of the company, and barring this, she cannot be prosecuted in a criminal case. This is because although Hive showed plans for Min to secure an 80% stake in Adore from Hive, there is no other evidence that she actually executed this. Therefore, any police probe will be centered on finding clear-cut proofs supporting Hive's claims.
since there has been no detailed evidence on the management takeover plan, investigators may focus on trying to determine if Min divulged the confidential contract to a third party. Hype has argued that Min showed the classified contract to a third party to attract investors. Since the contract is classified and is seen as a business asset owned by the company, if it can be proven that an unauthorized party saw it and this can lead to damages, a breach of trust can be said to have occurred. Moreover, if unlawful methods were employed to infringe on the financial benefits of others, such actions are punishable under the Unfair Competition Prevention Act. One other point that has to be considered is the degree to which Min was aware that the secret documents were shared with a third party, especially if the documents were shared at a working level without the knowledge of the CEO. Hive has thus far not revealed any evidence of the contract findings its way into the hand of an outsider, although this may be disclosed at a later date or even during the trial. Meanwhile, despite the controversy surrounding Hai Ben Min, the music video of Nijin's latest song Bubble Gum attracted 14 million views just two days after its official release. Rumors about Hai being involved in a cold and controversy over illegal hoarding related to BTS's music marketing in the past have spread like wildfire online, causing the entertainment label to warn of severe legal consequences to those spreading false information. This gossip evolves around several members of BTS and Tomorrow by Together, graduating or still attending a school founded by a cult leader. This link was further fueled by BTS members, who allegedly participated in the organization's promotion in the past. Even the lyrics of Attack on BTS conveyed certain words related to the cult, such as tighten the pit of your stomach and do hypogastric breathing. Suspicions have also been raised that the symbols of the organization were used in the music, design, costumes, and accessories of groups under Hive. Online users mentioned that Mago, which was one of the songs in the girl group G-Friend's last album, is also a term of religious significance, often used by the organization. Also, the dance moves of the new girl group under Hive, Eyelid's debut song, Magnetic, is fairly similar to the stretch associated with the cult. Coincidentally, there were even suspicions of illegal hoarding, related to BTS's music marketing for their mega-hit song, I Need You. The suspicions were raised after the court ruling of the person who threatened BTS's agency in the past to extort money was released online. He or she had reportedly taken part in the legal marketing for BTS, and that person had threatened the label for this illegal act. Hive's response, meanwhile, was immediate and firm, making clear all recent rumors are utterly false. It warns their legal action will be taken against anyone who violates artists' rights and interests and made clear spreading of hearsay will not be tolerated. Related to the latest controversy surrounding Hive, many on social media expressed various views. Some stated whatever questions they had on their recent Hype Bean Hijin split had been answered, while others said this whole thing was an unscrupulous plot against Hype and a move to smear stars like BTS with unsubstantiated tittle tattle. The full on fight between Hype and Bean Hijin, the CEO of its sub label Adore, may have stemmed from a dispute over money. Industry insiders said that up until March, Hype and Min engaged in shareholder talks through their respective legal representatives. Hybe linked a deal in March 2023 to hand over 20% of Adore's shares to Min. Of the shares transferred, 15% could be resold to Hybe at a set price as agreed upon via a put option arrangement. If Min exercises her put option rights, she'll be eligible to receive some $70 million, which is equal to 13 times the average operating profit for Adore in the past two years. <laughs> 내부 고발을 안 해요. 여기 나오지도 않은 얘기. 내부 고발 자체를 안 해요, 그냥. 저 가만히 있어도 천억 번다니까요. 최소. However, the two sides began talks in December 2023, less than a year into the original contract, which seems to have fueled discord. At the negotiation, Min's legal counsel requested that the CEO's put option premium be marked up to 30 times the average operating profit, instead initially said 13 times. This will bring the total she can get from Hype from $70 million to $200 million. 
In addition, Min also requested that she be allowed to sell the remaining 5% share in a door without the permission of Haib, which entails a rewriting of the bilateral deal. Min's claim that the existing agreement is a slave contract is based on the prohibition of concurrent employment arrangement that bars her from going over to a rival company or starting her own business while holding to a door stake. Hai reportedly agreed to Min's position on the 5% put option, but rejected the 30-time premium as being excessive. Talk stalled and no headway was made, and soon afterwards, Min and Hype openly clashed, with the Adore CEO holding a press conference, where she claimed she valued honor and reputation above money. Hai pushed for Adore's board meeting to call for the resignation of its sub-label CEO, but the motion was blocked by Min. Unable to convene a board meeting, Hai requested a local court to permit the holding of an extraordinary meeting of shareholders to resolve this impasse. If the court accepts a request, a shareholders' meeting can take place as early as next month. Hai was formally accused Min of breach of trust and business malpractice, while Min may be preparing to wage her own war against Hai going forward. Adore CEO Min Hijin asked Hive to give control over terminating the existing exclusive contract with Girl Group New Jeans. Sources close to the current rift between Hive and its sub-labels said Min's attorneys forwarded the request during shareholder renegotiation talks held in February. This comes after the two sides failed to reach an understanding late last year over Min's demands that her put option, premium for Adore shares, be set at 30 times the average operating profit of the sub-label instead of the initially agreed-upon 13 times. If Min got her way in regards to new jeans, she could cut the girl group's ties with Hive whenever she wanted. Normally, any decision regarding the exclusive contract signed by local entertainment agencies can only be decided by the board of directors and not one person. At the time, Hive sent a formal reply saying Min's request was excessive and that it was rejecting the petition. At present, Adore's board of directors is comprised of Min, Vice-CEO Shin, and Director Kim, who are both close to the CEO. If they exercise their voting rights, technically, the contract with New Jeans can be terminated. On the other hand, if Hive convinces a general meeting of shareholders and replaces Adore's board, then Min cannot end the existing contract with New Jeans. In particular, if Min secures the right to take such action alone, then Hive can find itself with no means to stop her. Moreover, if New Jeans leaves, Adore will be a label without any artists under its wings. Based on the latest revelations, Hive may have suspected that its talks with Min regarding New Jeans' contract could be an extension of the CEO's text message of turning Adore into a hollow shell. Hive said that Min tried to attract outside investors to snatch New Jeans, which it claims constitutes a breach of trust and business malpractice. Min currently owns an 18% stake in Adore and can exercise a put option that's worth some $70 million. If Min is found guilty of business malpractice, she'll be penalized for violating the existing shareholder contract and be compelled to dispose of $2.2 million worth of her shares. The sum is in proportion to the $11.6 million per value of the company's capital at present. Despite the clash and threats made by Hive, legal experts have said it may be hard to pin a breach of trust violation on Min with what has been disclosed so far. Related to the ongoing clash, efforts to hold a meeting of shareholders to call for Min's dismissal has gained momentum, with the court in Seoul starting to examine Hive's request to hold a meeting of stakeholders. If a shareholder meeting is held, Hive's motion to fire Min is expected to be passed with the incumbent to lose her job in June at the latest. On the legal schedule, Adore said it has changed its stance and said it would not reject the convening of the board or the shareholders meeting. Speculations are rife that Min is trying to get Hive to fire her around May 24th when New Jeans is set to make a comeback. The timing could help the embattled CEO win sympathy from fans.